Chiefs win. That's right. Here's our head coach, Andy Reid, after the victory. And, um, and this is what's so great about this game. I mean, all of a sudden, uh, he's back and performing. His last two games have been beautiful things to watch there. Um, Bucker sets a record <clears throat> for the most 50-yard uh, 50, uh, 50 field goals. Um, and um, my hat goes off to him. I got to get, work with him on the extra points, but the 50-yard field goals, he's up spot on. So we take care of that as we go here. But um, all in all, tough to win in this league. And uh, to have that opportunity against a good football team, uh, we feel we feel good about ourselves for for a minute here, and it's uh, until we get ourselves ready for uh, for the Raiders come Tuesday. So, anyways, with that, time's yours. <clears throat> Yeah, so, well, we, we righted it to win the game, so that was important, but we need to take care of some of these, um, you know, little things that, that are happening here that are killing drives. And, um, again, my responsibility to make sure that happens, and, um, you know, we'll, we'll do that. It looks like you made a first half. Yeah, so listen, we had an opportunity to put them up by two scores, put us up by two scores, and I, I thought that was important. Yeah. Is that the one I, I presume you're talking about when we kicked the field goal? No, at the end of the first half when you just had, you had a minute and nine to go and two timeouts. And ran oh, yeah, time. yeah. Yeah, I just, uh, that was a decision on my part, so I felt that was the right thing to do. Coach Melvin, it looks like he made a couple of adjustments on defense. Melvin making a little start tonight. Uh, how much is he going to be a factor as a starter going forward? Yeah, so, um, you know, we look at him as, he, as if he's a starter, but we rotate all those guys. So it was good to get him in there and get him some extended snaps. And, you know, he, he played his tail off. So he did a nice job. I thought that whole front did a nice job. Maybe with the, maybe the decision at the end of the first half, but there were times where the uprights like moving with the wind. Just how big of a factor was that just in the game in general? Yeah, they were moving and they had confetti or whatever it was hanging from them. I mean, it was kind of crazy, but um, off of the net there. So, um, but uh, I didn't, uh, uh, that part I didn't, it moved the right way on the one. So I was good with that. <laughs> um, you know, and Buckers, he's got a strong leg. So, I mean, we, we trust him from the, those different depths. The wind was blowing in that direction. So we were good, good to go with the longer run there. Go ahead, finish up, finish up. Well, I was just going to ask you, too, about the, the drops. I know you say you got to take care of it. It's like every week, right? Like yeah. A lot of times it's said it's a lack of focus. I'm just wondering if you see that. Yeah, you know, it's, uh, I, I don't think that, I don't think that's it. But um, I, I would tell you, on the other hand, we've got to look at all the way into the tuck. So we, we've got to make sure we do that. So, um, and and take care of those. Tip balls become important uh, problems and, and drops become a problem. So. Uh, and we'll keep working on it until we get it right. So if I'm saying it every week, we're going to keep working on it. Andy, you used the term, uh, it was beautiful to watch about the defense. And this has been kind of percolating for a while. But do you have a different level of faith in the defense now? And, and I know we've had before, but how do you account for the really stark improvement? Yeah, I think health is one, one thing. Um, I, I think our front's playing well. It's a nice addition that. Uh, Brett Veach had with uh, Melvin Ingram, um, and, and the guys are, you know, they're, they're they're taking a lot of pride in what they're doing there, and they're they're healthy. So, knock on wood, we, it stays that way. But they're they sure are playing playing hard. Andy, for, for a guy like Byron Pringle, who got some more snaps tonight, he has two drops, but then basically field goal play on special teams. Yeah. What did you see there? What does it say about the players? Yeah, of, yeah, yeah. So he had a drop, and then he had a catch, and then he had a drop. Right. So um, and then he came back and made one of the bigger plays in the game. And that's um, he, he's a consistent player. You're going to have days like that when things don't go absolutely right. And um, but you got to keep pushing through. And that, that's what he did. And he's he's the epitome of that. He, he's going to work his tail off. And I mean, you guys know him. So he, but he's going to work his tail off till he gets it right. And he's not going to give up on himself. 
struggled in the past, like fans, but to see the reaction that his teammates have, he has perhaps his biggest play of the season. Yeah, um, I, I love it. I mean, I love the enthusiasm the guys have and the love they have for one another. That's important with a team. So. Sam, you, you referenced um, you know, the fact that people are here asked you about Swanson and potentially wanting to go. Don't throw it back at me, Sam. Well, I was just making a statement. <laughs> <laughs> My question, though, is what, um, I guess, is it just the history of the plays he's made for you in the past that, that you guys wanted to stick with a player like that? Yeah, well, he, he's a good player. And, and so he, he has a role on that defense. And uh, everything's not going to go perfect. Um, we understand that. As long, you know, as long as you can still run the same way and, and uh, you know, somewhere age gets you, but some, if you can run the same way and, um, you're seeing things right, then you kind of push through those things. You know, so why, why Pat came back to Pringle, you know, and, and so uh, there's a certain trust that you build up with a player knowing his knowledge and toughness um, and skill level. Andy, a similar question about Sorensen. What told you that he was going to, if you kept him around, that he was going to make some plays? Right? Yeah, well, I mean, he's, he's wired that way. I and mean, that's why the guys all went crazy for him. So they know, they know what he went through. So. Uh, you just knew he'd power through it, and and you know you always hope that they come out on the other end, and and so we we trusted that. When you say he's wired, <clears throat> what do you mean? All right, so here's your playoff picture in the AFC. Uh, Patriots and Bills gonna play on Monday night. Titans, Ravens, Chiefs, all eight and four. That's right. Patriots haven't had their bye yet, so they're gonna have that. But if they can get a win over the Bills first, they'd be the first team to nine wins and maintain that number one spot. Again, remember this year, seven teams make the playoffs and only the top seed, the number one team, gets that bye. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.